Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Oreo themed cookies for you. We have just the frosted cookies and these are baked by Kimberly's Bake Shop, both Mine of these. Too. And my, I have the Oreo uh, Space Dunks, which is like their new Space, Dunk, Space Dunks cookie. These are themed off of those. Yes, we reviewed the Oreo Space Dunk cookies. They were supposed to. The cream was supposed to taste like marshmallow and they had popping candy. Well, they did have popping candy, yep. that's the truth. But they did not taste like uh, marshmallow. And we I've had so. I've had more and more people leave comments that no, they don't taste like marshmallow. Okay. This, this is just this is just a uh, gimmick to get you to buy Oreos. Yeah, because they already have the fireworks cookies that have pop again. Yeah, and, so, yeah so. around the Fourth of July. Yeah, so this honestly, it's no different. It's just with blue and pink colors. That, yeah. That's all they've done. It's cool looking cream. Yeah, uh, these were $4.94 at Walmart. Uh, they were in the bakery. Um, so, oh, I'm thinking. Big table with all kinds of stuff. I could be wrong. I'm thinking these are gonna taste the same. I think they will too. Unless we can detect the dye in yep. this one. I think these are gonna be the same cookies. Yeah, I think it's the same frosting. Uh, but like I said, they're both baked by uh, Kimberly's Bake Shop which in a couple of previous videos where we've uh, reviewed some of these baked items from Oreo, we've uh, tried the Two Bite brand and the Kimberly's brand. And we said, taste the same, taste yeah, the exact same. The same. I said, it probably comes out of the same factory. Well, and that's pretty much been confirmed because Mondelez bought, who owns Oreo, they bought this brand, it's called Give and Go. They bought Give and Go, and they own Kimberly's, Two Bite, and a bunch of That's other right, brands. Right. There's Yeah, there's other brands, and it, it's basically all the same thing. So I don't know why they continue to put either Kimberly, Kimberly's or Two Bite. I don't know why they, they want you to think you're getting something different, but it's, it, you know, if you see this cookie and then you see the two bite, then it's gonna be the same thing. The two bite might be a smaller size, but it's gonna taste the exact same as the Kimberly's. So these Oreo frosted cookies, uh, you get 10 cookies. One cookie is 160 calories, and these are a product of Canada. So, come out of Canada. They're probably, we, do you think they're frozen or do you think they keep them just like this? I don't know that they would have to freeze these. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Maybe. Okay. It's, you know, it's hard to say with Walmart stuff. It smells like an Oreo cookie. It smells, it does. I it, smell. it, yes, it definitely, it smells, this one has, I want the one with the most. <laughs> um, so this, let's it's see. It's not a soft frosting, so. No, it's like a, it's like it's set out. Like a glaze. Um, this is 160 calories. These are 160 calories. Yeah, so I guarantee you it's gonna be, it's gonna be the same. But some people, you know, really buy into the hype. Um, I'm just a realist is what it is. I'm kind of disappointed that the frosting's not softer. No, it's not soft at all. Like it's falling off mm -hmm. in into uh, these chunks. Like little flakes. Yeah, this is not soft uh, at all. No, it's it's um, I said it's almost like a, more of a glaze than a frosting. Kind of has a texture and the flavor of a glaze. Don't you think though? A glaze is very thin. Yeah, but it has that kind of um, powdered sugar kind of flavor. I'm trying to figure out. I didn't out. eat it by itself, so I don't know. But well, it seemed to have that powdered sugar kind of flavor like a, a glaze does, except that one has a little thicker. bit more something in it to thicken it up. I was trying to figure out if it tastes like the cream in the center of an so. Oreo. I don't think it does either. Um, now, the cupcakes did. Try not, that by itself. But not the cookies. The cookies so far, I don't think really taste like So one. much of it fell off. I don't think I've ever had... I know I haven't. One of these frosted cookies where that icing fell off. Like this. No. Like it this. Has a very powdered sugar kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, like this is like crispy, fallen, mm -hmm. you know, um, crumbly. Yeah, it's more crumbly even than a glaze. Mm -hmm. That's true because a glaze is really sticks to it. Okay, yeah. I want to try a little bit of both, little bit of both because yeah, it's the same. It's gonna texture. The, the dyes is. I'm wondering where, how that's gonna come into play. 
Are you going to taste it? The cookies themselves are also very dense and kind of chewy. Okay. With a little bit of a, um, a crumb on the outside. Okay. I do have to admit, I do think that has a, a marshmallow flavor. Uh, it does just taste dye. I like it's bitter food dye. I've, it, to me, uh, it, because, it tastes sweeter. because I was fully expecting to say it tastes exactly the same. It does not taste exactly the same to me. It doesn't taste the same to me either, but I, I'm thinking mine's coming from a dye. It, and it, it, it's coming across to me as a marshmallow flavor that I didn't even get from the, the Oreo brand. But it doesn't say marshmallow on here. And it does not have the popping candy that mm. the Space Dunk Oreo has. No, I, I, that I, I truly think it's all dye for me. It has to be because this good. one, this one does not taste like that. This one does not have that marshmallow flavor. And I do get the dye. Mm -hmm. I do taste that dye. It doesn't, um, it doesn't bother me. I'm not, um, the red's worse than the blue. Uh huh. Yes. To me, it sounds crazy. The blue. I, I got a marshmallow. It probably isn't even supposed to taste like marshmallow. I'm sure it is that dye. Um, because then you move on to the pink. The pink, you do get that flavor. Mm, kind um, of bitter. I think these look, to me, they're calling them space dunk and everything. This looks like an 80s neon retro party, you Basically. know? And uh, for a while there, I don't know what's in style now, but for a while there, the 80s clothes really came back and the leg warmers and I mean, hideous fashions, but they came back and you saw all these neon colors. So I'm thinking if you were having a party like that. Yeah, an 80s party. You could put these out as those neon colors okay. and they would fit right in. Um, and it would be cool too if they had a yellow one. Yeah. Yellow with, you know, that, that was always a, a yellow and green. Um, but as far as buying them, honestly, I wouldn't buy either one of them. I'd skip the cookies. Because I'm very displeased with that, that frosting. Yeah, it's chocolate. That's all you really taste. It's really well. I just don't like that texture on that frosting yeah, for it just, to fall off like that. That is not normal. No, it's it's very dry. And even the cookies, like I said, are kind of a dense, chewy kind of texture. I don't, I don't, I would not buy the cookies. It, the the cupcakes and yes. the brownie bites and all the other stuff. Everything else they sold was better than. Okay, this. hopefully you followed along. We reviewed from this Oreo table. Not we're not talking about the Oreos. Just from the Oreo baked goods. We tried cupcakes. Mini cupcakes. We tried a big cupcake, mini cupcakes, muffins, brownies, and I'm not counting the cakesters because that wasn't from this set. But I did, I know I reviewed it in one, but it's not from this. And then the cookies. You get to pick one. The big cupcake. The giant cupcake. I really do like the brownies, but I'm gonna- The brownies are really good But too. I'm gonna pick, I think it was the Kimberly's brand, mm -hmm. the giant cupcake. I'm gonna pick the giant cupcake too. Yeah, the big cupcake was the best one. And then the brownies was probably my second. Mm -hmm. But like, if you want cookies, Market side or Wal the Walmart brand, they sell really good frosted sugar cookies yeah, where the frosting these. is soft and it's sweet. This is not traditional at all as far as these this cookies is, go. This is, not this is not the frosted cookie you're looking for. No, it's not. No. Go away. You don't want it. Uh, so I would avoid both of these. Yeah, I would get them. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.